All right, so I haven't been this excited about a unit in a little while. Y'all know how I am about these hair units. So I've been wanting to switch it up just a little bit, just kind of get away from the long hair just for a little bit and try something different. So I got a new unit and uh, we're going to pull out and we're going to see what's going on with it. So I've already gave you all a sneak peek on the, um, or maybe I didn't, I think I did on the last video. So has some 5D lashes a wig cap and a bag i'll put the name across the screen and all the information down below i already have my um hair braid and everything but let's get into the unit so you can see what it looks like close up all right so this is what the hair looks like close up this is what the netting looks like it is a, a 12 inch bob it is natural in color as you see, but you can see the hints of the brown. I like the ends, they look natural. Um, yeah, so I have natural light and my light above, so you can see. It. So there is enough parting space in there. If you don't want a middle part, you wanna kind of move it to the side a little bit. There is uh, some key combs on that side as well as this side. There are some key combs at the top at the back and then your adjustable band and then if you want to glue down the back which i hardly ever do um that's available as well so this is going to be nice i just trimmed some of the lace off i didn't like cut it all off until i get it on i went ahead and put this um wig it's like gripper on because my hair is um still damp plus um, I'm not going to use that glue to glue the hair down just yet. Like I said, until I wash it, but I wanted it to, um, hold my unit for me. So this way it looks like with me just trimming some of the lace and not a lot. Girl, this hair feels good. This is like, but this is, this that good work hair, honey. Mm. Oh yeah, I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and do some parting space on this unit. I'm gonna try to get as much close-ups as I can on here. I'm trying to make sure. I didn't use that um, wig cap because I already have like a part in the middle of my head and I don't want um, to discolor the lace i think it would make darken the lace because the wig cap is a little dark in color so um do we want like a straight bob like this do we hmm girl this hair is like what i'm just gonna side this on and go friend i'm just using a like an extra firm hole and this is from aussie that's all i'm gonna use and hopefully this will help to mow this down Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Every time I use this, I'm like, it smells so freaking good. When I first get these units, um, and I have to try them out, I like to try them out like fresh out the pack and then go back, wash and do all that extra to them. Cause I feel like y'all don't get to see like what you really get out the pack. If I don't, you know, show you out the pack like hair. I'm just trying to make sure I get these. So, and I'll cut the um, sideburns and everything too. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this down and see what we're working with. All right, so I'm gonna tie this down. Let this just be and then I'm going to come back. I've got to do my makeup real quick because I do have somewhere to be. And I'm working on something. So, girl, the show must go on. All right, so we are looking alive. we got some makeup on, some lipstick on. And I'm um, going to answer one of the questions I get a lot. A lot. All right. Um, Why do I wear wigs? Why do I wear wigs look at this hair girl okay so the one thing about this unit so um i feel like it's pre-plucked 
I do. I feel like the unit is free plug. I feel like um, I could probably um, lighten up the knots a little bit in this area. But for the most part, I think it looks really good. I think this, look at that. <sighs> like, yeah, this, this is, uh, this is just my hair. <laughs> yeah, this is what the hair looks like after I have um, moved it down. I did decide to use a little bit of the got to be glue. And I told you all I did not like using the glue, but it is a temporary um, setting for me until I can wash the unit. I did use a little bit of the stick in the middle to kind of paste it out to flatten that part to make sure my part was defined. And now I'm going to go through and just kind of flatten out some of this hair. I don't really want to bump it or anything. I just kind of want to flatten out the hair a little bit and um, go from there. Why do I wear units, girl? Like I love the versatility of hair. I like long hair, short hair, um, bobs, curly units, right? I absolutely love going from like a blonde unit to like a highlighted copper unit right then i love the dark um like soft blacks so for me in order to have like the versatility of switching up whenever i feel like it because i absolutely love change if i could change my hair every day <laughs> i probably would and for those who've been around a while you already know it, it's the change for me and i love i don't like the same thing over and over and over I just don't I just love the versatility of I'm just waiting for this to heat up I might have to get the other one or maybe I have it on the wrong setting um I like the versatility and I think it's um okay to switch up things we're living in a age where um units are like it's the norm there's no hiding I have a wig and yeah we we love those uh wigs where you could say look um no lace I like the fact that people wonder sometimes, like, is that your hair? I do like that, but at the same time, we know a lot of these units are units, and they're just beautiful, whether it's a unit or it's coming out your head. Like, I just think that hair is just beautiful, and the fact that you can just change it, any color, cut, style, at any given moment with a unit. I think when it comes to, like, doing that on your natural head of hair, um, one, it could be damaging, especially with all the bleaching and dyes and whatnot. Um, and then it can be not so permanent, but once that cut is cut, it's cut. And then you have to go through, you know, the growing out phase of the ugly phase to the, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just like units. I don't really have a reason. Oh, this is hot now, friend. I don't really have a reason. I like them. I love wearing them. I like showing um, the different companies that are out there that have these units so that you can see what it looks like when I get it out of the pack um, without manipulating them, right? And that way, when you get your pack, you're like, oh, yeah. And by the way, this hair does not smell. That's pretty much why I wear units. I just like change and I like the ability to be able to change and not stress about my hair is curly and it's, it's thin curly. But it is a texture where if straightened, 30 minutes later, it's curly, okay? And then it's soft. It's actually thick in the middle and then soft everywhere else. But I do get the question sometimes, do I have hair? Do I have alopecia? What, you know, what's the problem? There's no problem, honey. I just really love hair. This is just like the straight look, little bump, hair behind the ear type of situation. I did do a little bit of some natural as I can get looking sideburns but um, this is one of those units that you don't have to stress about gluing down like the size because if you're wearing it like a straight vibe then of course you know it covers the size I'm probably going to add a little bit of body in this hair because I like body too um just a little bit of body all right so if the weather permits I'll go ahead and do some outside shots um, so you can see what it looks like in the daylight, but um, I definitely want to get like some layers in here. Y'all know I like layers on these uh, units and um, yeah, and I'm going to rock with it like this for right now, like a natural everyday 
um, style, nothing fancy until I can get into my sister for her to do some layers for me because I think this hair would be perfect for a style that I'm thinking about doing. So, um, yeah, I'll put the final look here of what um, it looks like. And uh, let me know your thoughts on these units from this particular company. Like I said, I've never worked with them before. And um, yeah, I like the hair. I feel like it's a nice density and um, just the hair itself. It looks really nice and natural looking. Doesn't look overly done or anything like that or too thick. Doesn't look too thick or anything like that. So, and that's just, of course, my opinion on my head, but um, I would love to know your thoughts on this unit. And um, yeah. yeah, I'm probably gonna have to use this spiral curler for the hair, but um, once again, shout out to Sterling Hair for sponsoring this video on today. I thoroughly appreciate you. I look forward to working with you again in the future uh, for collaborations. I am, um, yeah, I'm back to reviewing a few units. It's, it's been a minute and um, I enjoy doing it. So I just said, you know, why not get back into it? Plus I wanted a change in style and I want to work with new companies I never worked with to see, you know, what's out there, right? Um, yeah, so if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen. If I didn't say that in the beginning, I apologize. But um, yeah, if you like this type of video, this type of vibe, then go ahead and hit the button and subscribe, friend. Make sure you click the bell if you haven't, so you'll be notified each and every time I do an upload. That way you'll know if it's gardening, if it's hair, everyday vlogs, what is it? Um, yeah, you'll be notified and you can just click on and come watch me. I'll see you on the next video. Peace and blessings.